I am Kenan Aliyev, Director of RFA Dallas Azerbaijani Service, and this is the briefing on U.S. Vice President Dick Cheney's visit to Azerbaijan. Cheney clearly sent a very strong message to Azeris and most importantly to Russia that America is not going to give up its friends and interests in the Caucasus and in the Caspian Basin. The United States invested a lot in this important region. It has big plans for Azerbaijan for the future and it is not going to just walk away because Russia wants it. The Azeri leadership needed to hear such assurances and it got them but it is not clear that it's enough to guarantee Azerbaijan's cooperation should it need to choose between Russia and the United States. Russia still has a lot of ways to punish Azerbaijan, chief among these being Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Vice President Cheney pointedly commented on the need to resolve Nagorno-Karabakh conflict consistent with Azerbaijan's territorial integrity, offering another message that Azerbaijan would welcome. We have to wait and see how Azerbaijan is going to balance the West and Russia in the future. After what Russia did in Georgia, Baku is clearly scared about its own security and in his statement, President Aliyev was careful not to condemn the Kremlin or say anything critical or anything at all about Russia. According to the news reports, Russian President Dmitry Medvedev called President Aliyev while he was meeting Cheney. It clearly shows that Russia was closely watching Cheney's trip. Baku's situation is different from Georgia's in many ways. First, Baku doesn't aspire to join NATO or the European Union, so it doesn't present the same kind of threat that Georgia and Ukraine do. If the division between West and Russia grows, then Ilham Aliyev will be forced to make a difficult choice, whether to stay with the West and face more pressure from Russia, or ally itself with Moscow and go back to the old sphere of influence at a high cost to its independence. President Aliyev's statement was very careful. He didn't use this opportunity to stake out a position. And the state media handled the meetings very carefully, keeping the profile low. Aliyev is being pragmatic. He left all doors open. Energy issues were at the center of discussion. Azerbaijan's whole energy policy depends on stability in neighboring Georgia. Most pipelines that carry Azeri oil to the Mediterranean pass through Georgia. But even with current status quo, Baku may face more pressure from Russia, which wants more access to the vast energy resources in the Caspian Basin. Russia already asked Baku to sell all its gas reserves to Gazprom. If Baku says yes to this offer, then West will lose another alternative to Russia as gas supplier. This is why the United States support to Azerbaijan at this moment is very important. And Cheney, who well understands energy issues, did discuss them in Baku. And as he said after the meeting with Aliyev, the United States will work together with Azerbaijan, Turkey and Central Asian countries to build more pipelines. Vice President Cheney's message about more pipelines in the region bypassing Russia will not play well in Moscow. I'm Kenan Aliyev, director of RFRL's Azerbaijani service, and that was the briefing at rfrl.org.